Yeah, I thought it was a good performance. Um, you know, I think completely not a testament to you know the group that we've got. That a team comes and sets up at home and you know makes it difficult and sits bodies up behind the ball and tries to hit you on the counter attack. Um, you know that's. They slowed everything down from the minute, from the first minute. I think it's 23 minutes you're looking at, and they're slow to go and take uh, you know, throw ins and stuff like that. And you know, waiting for that one opportunity. And you know, one time we switched off a uh, yeah, free header, but I thought they didn't create too much other than that. Um, Lucas made a save at the end, but that's where we were pushing. Um, the first goal is massive in a game like that, and you know. It's, if David scores a penalty, it's possibly a different game, but you know, we can't be relying on David Edgeball week in, week out to provide a little bit of magic to, to get us out of um, you know, the mess all the time. is It's a team game and you know, that's what I've got full faith in the squad of players that we got. What's the point of having these players here if, if you don't believe in them? So you know, that's why I was able to rotate the squad round and um, yeah, I, I know that if it doesn't work for you, the question is going to be due as a manager, but I've got full faith in the, the group of players that we've got, not just the 11 that start, but the heart we've got a squad of 20 players and um, got full, full faith in them and you know, it wasn't quite to be. But so you know, I don't think um, fans truly realise how hot it is on our pitch. You know, you've got the black rubber there, which adds like 10 degrees to that, that surface. Um, so it's real hard, you know, we've got Ricky who couldn't play because he's got a dead leg and uh, Ross was, was struggling after an hour with cramping up with his calf so to ask him to come and give a shift again two days later is, is, is tough. Um, so yeah, but full faith in, in the squad. Um, we score penalty, I think we'll probably go on to win the game. Um, but you know, it's just run to be so alone, haven't you? Um, if you're going to allow three headers at the far post then you're always going to um, be a, t a team that, that struggles. Uh, so yeah, for the amount that they created, other than that, uh, you know, we've got to just stay disciplined. But it's good learning. You know, you've got, I don't know if we forget that this group's so young, and you know, you probably show that naivety at times. They do is 100%. But it's just where we are, where we are as a football club. Um, you know, not what we need. We need some experience. But as a club, we can't um, can't get there just yet. So. Um, you know, we've gone with these boys and got full faith in them and uh, you, know, you can't fault the effort and passion and commitment that they've shown in the last two games. Yeah, it's always in my mind, you know, you had that, that bench there to, to come on and like try and keep it a bit fresher and go with it for the last 30 minutes. Um, you know, if we started with it, would you have had that same impact? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, no, that was always the, the game plan. Um, but, like I say, conceding the first goal it was massive today, and like it, like it was on um, um, you know the last two games, the two penalties that we, we give away, uh, Bishop Stortford and Dorky in the away games there, it just seemed to affect us. But pleased with how we grouped, we rallied, and you know we chucked everything at them, and on another day you get a little a bit of luck, and you know one flies in off Jalen's uh, head, and you get your rewards. But it just wasn't to be. Playoffs are still attainable. Uh, we have to beat Merston and we're relying on Bishop and I think Folkestone to lose. So it, it makes for a big game at Woodside on Saturday. Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, I mean, all we can do is, you know, it's not going to be no easy game um, like this wasn't today to come here. But, um, yeah, we just try and be at our best at home and give a good account of ourselves and try and come away with three points like we, like we always do. The initial disappointments there because, um, you know, we felt we controlled the game for large parts and you know, it's not come away with three points when you're controlling them then um, there is disappointment and I think we have done the last two games Tunbridge and here we've controlled the ball but then you go you know how many chances have we created how many chances have we put away so you know, that's the next sort of bit we've got to be more ruthless and uh, we've got to be looking at ourselves to, to say that we've got to be more cutthroat in uh, both boxes.